Hey guys, Adam here again, and just wanted to show you what I've got so far. I decided to make this. Uh, it's my beast right now. I know it's kind of crappy, but you know, just gotta start with something, right? And uh, here's my new AI right here. Oh, there he is. It's got the machine gun, and uh, let's go ahead and open up that mesh so we can take a look at it. Make that a little wider. Now this I did in uh, Maya didn't take long. Probably about, you know, a whole day just tweaking and making settings. Let me go ahead and get the animation rolling here. There we go. So, uh, yeah, if you guys need a video on how to make one of these, they're not that hard. I can go ahead and make a video about it. Just open up my, uh, make some shapes, you know, add some textures. Pretty snazzy. And, uh, I'd like to say I haven't really found any videos on YouTube, which is surprising because, you know, you think someone would jump on this and make an unreal video about a machine gun, but they don't. Instead, they just say, hey, check out Battlefield's weapons. And I'm like, okay, whatever. So let me go ahead and test my new uh, system. Actually, I'll show you what it is first. Uh, where's it? All right, here we go. Here's my alpha. Now, um, I know that I said that I like to do radar which is true. I love to do radar as my detection, but I've advanced upon it. I've actually made a radar. Instead of just saying it's a radar, I've actually made one, so let me show you. Uh, where's the visibility settings? Here we go. Okay, so I'll go ahead and simulate this real quick so that way you can see what I'm doing. You're probably like, genius, why didn't I think of that? But anyways, these are um, trigger boxes. You know, they got the, uh, right here, if it'll open, there you go. You got your on component, begin overlap, and end overlap, and that's basically the uh, target zone that I have selected, right here. And when I simulate this, voila, it's a radar, oh my gosh. So basically, on detect hit, fire weapons, pretty much that's it. And then once it leaves the box, it doesn't fire the weapons anymore, so... You get your ping, and then it fires the weapons. Make sure that compiles again before I start it. Okay, so let's go ahead and test this theory. Does this really work? Well, I don't want to start shooting right off the bat. Let me back this guy up a bit. Okay. And we'll hit play. Okay. So it, you can see it a little bit because it's still visible on the screen, but here we go. So yeah, kind of kills the frames, I'm still working on that, probably because I need to just make up, um, when the machine gun fires, it only fires one particle, right now it's firing one for every shot, so that's probably why it's doing that. And uh, as you can see, it, you know, it's probably going to re require some explanation on my behalf, of course, and how I get that to actually work. Uh, hopefully the more experienced coders are already running around with this and saying, hey, let's just make a radar. So let's go ahead and uh, dive into it, shall we? Alright, so this um, is my entire code for the entire craft here. This is my flight code and all that you've seen before in other videos. Now you're probably wondering why nobody's dying after I shot, because I got everyone disabled on dying right now. I just want to show off what I've got so far, because you've already seen death in the last video. So here it is. You start with this right here. This little uh, system that does a set timer for both of these. And I call this one the radar swing. And this one, I know it says every second. That's because I was testing with seconds. I've actually made it quite a lot faster. It's only 0.01 seconds now. And uh, the every second then triggers the events, which allow it to do this gate process right here, which opens the gate, um, which, sorry, doesn't open, enters the gate, and that causes these to fire off, which are my turrets. As you can see, they're a bit more sophisticated. And I'm using retriggerable because if it hits twice in the same box, I don't want it to shoot off prematurely. I want it to reevaluate this situation and fire uh, respectively, so it doesn't, you know, mess up the system. 
Same thing for this. This is how my machine gun works, is that I have a triggerable delay for each shot, and it goes back in and spawns the actor. Now, uh, probably thinking, okay, well, how do I set up the gate structure? Well, here we go. So, um, you get your actor, you set it as target found, and then this one's target left. So this way, with, uh, if the target left is equal to the va to sorry, I didn't go into that yet. Here's my valid. So after it does all its checks about what to shoot at, and then I compare it to if it left the target. And if it did, then go ahead and close the gates. So we stop shooting at nothing. And here is my targets. Shoot only, please. So here's my bot character that you saw flying around, and here's my bot character machine that has the machine gun turret on it. Yeah. And yeah, he does shoot back. I probably didn't show that in the video. I'll show it after I'm done here. And um, here's the checks, of course, with each one. You know, here's my target found right, like here. Bring it over here. Gets the class. Now I do classes because if you do objects, the problem is that I was watching it right here, and they actually attach little name structures like number 156. So if you do object number 156 and you try to compare it to 155, it's not it's not going to match. It'll go through this and think, okay, well I can just go ahead and shoot at. Um, you know the target that shot. So like if I had a uh, a projectile or even myself, which was really funny because I couldn't, I had to figure out for like four hours why I kept shooting at myself. It's because this radar will pick up everything, everything in the vicinity, all the shots fired, yourself, anything else that collides with, such as like basic actors on the ground. So you really want to limit what this thing picks up and what it executes upon because if you do. Um, if you do the other way, which I had before, and I'm glad I stopped doing it, I was just adding everything I found in the scene to this little area, and this was really more, more, oh my gosh, it was really complex. So I did the other way where you just pick the actors, make sure they're equal, and then fire. All right. And up here, this is my rotation, so I have it um, with the event tick here, weapons event tick, just added it in there. And um, all it is is that I compare my targets if they're valid, to nothing. Now this is because at the very beginning I get a lot of ears and it's like access none because there's nothing there so why are we rotating around nothing blah 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 and um, I did this to prevent that ear from showing up I just made this having nothing compared to this having nothing at the very beginning right here <clears throat> so this way you know at the beginning it sets the valid left and valid right to nothing so that way when they're equal, this thing doesn't work. It doesn't start tracking nothing. So this way, once it does get set uh, right here as the first target, then it's like, okay, I can go ahead and run now, and I can track whatever's in, in the area. That way it gets around the ear and just makes it cleaner. Now, I know this doesn't look as clean as you as you want it to be, but it's really I, it's the best way to format um, turrets by themselves, so that way they don't get mixed up with the other turrets. Now you're thinking, why do I have to get all these values and it's because that's the way the turrets work. They require a lot of this stuff. Like this iron turret, I mean I could have it just as fine look at rotation but then the turret snaps to wherever it wants and it doesn't look realistic. So I had this in turret 2 and the turret rotation I got to 15 so it's nice and smooth and of course delta times the uh, <coughs> right here from delta seconds. And uh, I hope that this is enough of an explanation for how the system works. I'm going to go ahead and uh, play some music that I found uh, from NDK, pretty cool guys, and I'm just going to shoot at things. And you could choose to keep watching or go ahead and get the ball rolling on this. I think uh, this is pr pretty self-explanatory. You got your radar swing, and then you just you know set off one of these values, and that's how you use your radar, and uh, you know on detect method and everything. Oh, and uh, I wanted to show this for another guy. He was asking, how do you get your target to, to move? And I'll, I'll probably, let me do that first. So, here we go. Um, yes, he was asking, how did I get this character moving as a player controller? Well, this is a little secret that I figured out. You have to attach the mesh, you know, basically yourself to the mesh. Because what happens is, if I don't, then, here, I could probably show you with my, uh, where is it? There he is. Because if I don't, then the target's just going to, I mean, the mesh is going to fly away from the camera. Let me go ahead and attach myself, and I probably show that effectively. 
So if I do this, oh great, here we go. Come on, compile you. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, show what happens. Oh my gosh, my my camera's not following my body. Everything will work probably still. Let's see. So that's what happens if you don't attach your mesh. I mean, it, it looks like it's already attached, but it's the other way. You're, I, this is the towboat, this is the cruise ship. I want the cruise ship to tow the towboat. And uh, basically, I disable all its settings, so that way it doesn't do anything. I don't want it to do anything. So that, that way that'll clear up that confusion for that guy that was asking. Let you guys go ahead and reattach that. And you gotta make sure, I don't know if you have to do it every second, but I think you'd have to since... Well, maybe not. I, I guess I could look at that and make sure it's, you don't have to do it every second. Not every second, but every event tick. Probably just gets annoyed with it. I'm already attached, you fool. Okay, so I'll go ahead and just fly around now, and uh, you can keep watching if you want. I think it's just pretty cool. And rad. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
thanks again for watching guys if you have any questions please go ahead and ask um, not afraid to comment on the comment screen I will be moving this weekend so I might not get right back to you but then again um, if you're watching this after the November weekend don't worry about it I'll get right back to you alright thanks guys